Hey guys, Nananka here, bringing you a crafting and crate opening video. As you can see here, I've picked up six crates for myself, and I am interested in hopefully obtaining a strange blood slogger. I also wouldn't mind getting a strange gerati, and whatever else happens to come in the wake of the search for those items will be equally appreciated, more likely than not. So, let's get right to it. And as you can see, also we have three metal, uh, refined metal, to make a hat. Regardless of what comes out of the crates, there will be a new hat obtained. Uh, strange Bizarre Bargain. Raised reason to play Sniper. I already have a uh, Strange Sniper Rifle, so... That wasn't enough to do it, so maybe that'll be enough to get me to play Sniper. <laughs> strange Liberty Launcher. Meh. Kind of my reaction to that one. Come on, Blutzlogger. Yeah, that's a cool hat. I can dig that hat, but not what I was searching for. It's probably not going to give it to me either. <laughs> Just because that's the one thing I want. It will give me everything else out of this potential crate. Yeah. That's the way it went. <laughs> oh well. You can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. Hats. hey -o! Fantastic. So you gotta let go of earthly desires and then things come to you. Maybe. <laughs> if you're lucky. Let's uh, use this with uh, crate 57 and we'll just cross our fingers here and see what we get out of it. I'm not super dying if I don't get a Jurati, but it's like the only weapon on Sniper that I really enjoy. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that's groovy. I am not disappointed. Not disappointed at all. Got exactly what I wanted. And now, it's time to make a hat. And I never try to make a hat for a particular class. I'm just like, random every time, give me something neat, we'll see what it is. And it's a fireman's helmet for a uh, pyro. Which uh, means I would have to not use my respectless rubber glove, which I do love. But that's irony, and I like irony. I might use that for a little while at least. Anyway, successful item obtainment. wouldn't be much of a video if it was just three minutes of me opening a few crates. So I figured I would put my most recent commentary, which is me playing Pyro, then playing Medic with a Pyro, and then just me playing Medic. Every time I start high tower, I like to head straight for these cliffs because you get a good shot at compression blasting people, especially people who are more unaware than they usually are for getting knocked off a cliff if they haven't been on the map very long up to that point, or if you have not been on that map knocking them off the ledge they haven't had a pyro to deal with up to that point, they're probably going to leave themselves a little bit more vulnerable to having that happen. And that's all I want to do when I join this map, usually, is knock people off the ledge. A lot of people treat this map as just a deathmatch map at this point. They don't even push the cart. In fact, I suggested in my last live stream that it would probably make sense at this point for them to come out with a, a cart removal mod specifically for this map. And there goes that scout, and I, he jumped my flare, put himself out, but then he came right back in at me. Oh, yeah, okay, hi again. <laughs> that worked out for me. And here's somebody chasing me. I thought I'm going to push him off the cliff, and, and I lost him. Like, where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. And they were waiting for me or something, I don't know. But the important thing is, he's off the cliff, I'm not. And here comes none other than myself, I think, here. Yep, there I am, coming at the cart there with my respectful summer glove. Clearly not me, because I'm behind my own eyes know that much at least. I think, therefore, I am Pyro. <laughs> so a guy with a, a special hat, you gotta watch out for them, obviously. If they've put enough time and energy into the game to get a uh, special hat, you've probably got pretty good reactions and so forth. You spin around and immediately shoot grenades in the right direction, and I was honestly pretty worried after that second swing connected. I was like, man, I'm trying to kite this guy in circles, but it's just not working out. And uh, how lovely would that have been? Not happening, though. So I, I, again, I thought I was screwed because I, I couldn't burn the spy up, but rather than press his advantage and pistol me down, he invised and ran off. So, you know, whatever. And here's a Jurati covered heavy out of the blue, and my luck just continues over and over. So, getting healed now. No overheal, unfortunately, with the quick fix, but you do get healed very rapidly, so that's pretty handy, especially when you've got a whole lot of people to deal with at once. And I hate trying to deal with another pyro when I'm using the flare gun and the flamethrower. Obviously, you don't have anything but flamethrowers as your primary. 
because none of it does very good damage. You really need a shotgun, a reserve shooter, perhaps, ideally, if you're uh, close enough to knock them up in the air with a compression blast. I've uh, been killed by plenty of pyros <laughs> uh, with that uh, particular combo when I try to WM1 them, thinking I might have the drop on them or something. It's like, no, always use the shotgun in close range. And Speaking of close range, that heavy knocked me the hell out. Didn't see that one coming. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that range is not as far as it seems to be. You're not quite as far away as you think you are. And I make all this effort to get up here. I'm like having a hell of a time crouch jumping up on the barrels for some reason. By the time I got there, the medic has murdered the scout. There's people above, but I'm more interested in pushing the cart and perhaps reflecting some grenades off of it. And uh, teammates getting murdered by uh, Ubersaw-wielding medics is something I really want to put a stop to as quickly as possible. And he hit me as well, and I was like, man, that's three swings. He's practically got an Uber. But then, in the kill feed, I see him go down. And I was like, oh, thank you, scout. Thank you for your efforts. Because I felt bad giving a medic a charge like that. It's like, ugh. The, the least you could do is, like, die without giving the medic a charge. You know, I, I hate it when there's a pair of medics chaining Uber and no one is dealing with it. Everybody just keeps kind of charging in and, and not waiting for it to end or running away. And man, that bouncing crit, I was like, ah! I kind of lucked out, though, with the timing of it. It wasn't quite far enough uh, to kill me. And here I'm going for the health, and I just don't want him to get it. <laughs> and pushing him around the corner pushed him apparently into a demo night. So hey, everything's awesome. And there's that medic again. And I. I Really could have been caught right there. He was close enough. If it had been a crit, that would have been the end of that. I'd have been like, damn, that medic is kicking my ass. But instead, luck of the draw, I a quarter second off of that last swing, I guess, maybe. And I uh, got him with the flare. So, all was well. And instead, I am the elite pro, and he is the dead man. So, obviously, spy, obviously, spicicle. Not going to be able to chase him at all. <laughs> I didn't expect him to head into spawn, I expected him to head to the left. I still don't have the uh, the timing down perfect uh, with compression blasting someone and hitting them with a flare in the next instant. But I will say this, if you hit something that is in the process of building, it has significantly reduced health. And that's why you're able to blow up a building sentry with just a single flare if you catch it in the first instant of its existence. And there's lots of blue guys here, I figured this is a good time as any to just jump in and spray fire in every possible direction at once. I missed that heavy, but you know what? The heavy on my team took him down. If I had hit him with the flare, maybe that my heavy would have had a little bit more life, but... You know. Hindsight's 2020. And he's put himself into a corner now, and I, I can't say as I agree with that assessment of uh, his options. And he backpedaled into a heavy, so he was screwed anyway, even if I can't stick a flare to save my life. Sometimes I can. I've had great luck with the flare gun before. I've had entire rounds where, like, I can't miss. Like, they have magnets in them. The enemies, like, jump in front of them. And then sometimes you have rounds like this one where it's like 50-50, you know, to err as human. Even the most leap pros among us screw up occasionally, and, and I'm certainly not leap pro <laughs> by any uh, stretch of the imagination. I just like to consider myself sufficiently lethal. I like that definition. So this round came to an end with the success of the, the red team. It's weird seeing the cart pushed in from the red team's perspective. And that brings us to my next uh, commentary clip, which is me playing Medic, which you'd think, you know, Medic clip going with a Pyro clip doesn't really make much sense, but you'll see pretty quickly that I, almost this entire round, I end up pocketing a single Pyro, because I had such great success giving him a crits, he responded to it so well, this fellow here, well, Werewolf Party, because we're coming over this ledge, I'm like, surely there's a bunch of blue guys here. It's a good opportunity to pop it. I know there's people in the vicinity. And he, he went away I didn't expect. I expected him to go in through the top, but he went in through the bottom, and I was kind of uh, kind of concerned about what might, might happen with that, especially since I didn't have a full Bloodslogger clip. But I really wanted to kill that medic, and I wanted to block him from getting the health. I figured if I just stand on it, and yeah, see, he hit me, and then I was able to get the health, preventing him from getting it, and I did get him with like one of the last needles that was in flight. So now that my pers personal mission of revenge against the medic has uh, been completed, I think the round right uh, before this, I joined in and I was trying to play Spy, and he just murdered me and called me out over and over and over again. Good voice communication will put an end to a, a Spy round quick as can be. And my, my inclination in situations like this is usually to heal the Heavy, because he's going to be a damage magnet. But I saw Werewolf Party going in and, you know, working the fringes and not getting himself killed. I'm like, you know, he's good enough to not get himself killed when he does take damage. He still is around when the heavy I'm healing has run himself into a wall and died. I'm like, let me, let me heal this guy some more. And I've got another crits building. I'm like, you know what? He's getting this crits too. Normally I don't give a crits to a uh, pyro, but it seemed like a good option. 
and he goes, you know, left, right, weaving in at the heavy in such a way that he manages to somehow luckily avoid the majority of the fire. If you've got a heavy with low ping, who's actually fast and good hand-eye coordination, that can be put to a stop really quickly, like crit rockets put a stop to things. And I do believe they got that point in the interim. And I'm dodging rockets, jumping around. If you uh, have a thing to jump on when you're jumping away from a soldier, uh, it really does help to uh, block uh, the blast radius damage. I see that pyro chasing me, and I'm like, let me just run in a straight line. You're faster running forward than backwards. A lot of people have the inclination to backpedal to see the person chasing them, but if you want to keep your ever-so-slight lead on someone, you need to, uh, you need to run forward. Yeah. And I uh, wasn't sure he was not a spy. Again, if you haven't seen somebody shoot their weapon or face through a teammate, or yourself for that matter, assume they are a spy. Just assume it, because you'll be rewarded when they are. And uh, thanks to confirmation bias, it will seem like you always successfully spy check. And here is the definition to me of a perfect pyro crits. Big, giant, massive enemies. Killed three or four people. And then he backed off. He didn't push the issue. He didn't charge to his eventual death against their team once, uh, of course, the uber ends. Or the crits in this case. I know a lot. I mean, even, that was even my inclination. I was like, oh, surely he's going to WM1 this up to a point where we're going to all be stuck up, stuck up against the wall. And now we've got them driven all the way back to their spawn, one crits later. And I'm pretty happy. I'm singing Donkashane. Probably my favorite random medic uh, voice thing. It's uh, For me, it's V and then 5. I don't even recall which menu pops up with V. It's like the positive. <laughs> I think that's what it's called in the menu. It's right next to negative, which is, I think, 4. So anyway, here's another random pyro. His name is Dio. And there's a spy who is not our spy. But there's too many people coming from the front. You see that arrow miss me by, like, a hair's width. Like, that thing pretty much parted my hair. And I'm calling out the pyro. There he is. I got one swing on him. Good enough for me. I've got a charge. And here's a pyro again. I'm like, you know what? That other pyro did so good. Let me let me get to this pyro. Come on, let's charge out there and kill those people in the cart. Go, pyro! Murder them! And then there's the sentry gun. And the heavy season coming. And I backed off because I didn't want to get murdered by the sentry and everything else in the equation. And maybe if I had charged out there with him, it would have been... To the benefit of all, but as it turned out, I was able to finish off the heavies because <laughs> they had such little health left. That burning effect really does kind of take the uh, the edge off the cart regen. The cart regen will keep up with it. In fact, it's it uh, supersedes it by a slight amount. You will be kept alive by a level one dispenser if you're on fire, unless you've got like Jurati on you or something. But in this case, again, got the crits, firing it off right as we're heading for the uh, heavy. As soon as I saw him, I was like, ah, you need it now. And that's the thing, is the uh, medic, when you're healing somebody, and you're, especially with the crits, more so than the uber. Because with the uber, you're trying to really pop it at the last second of preserving life. But with the crits, you're trying to time it for when they have their, their opportunity to shoot the enemy. And yeah, you see the cart right there? Let's see it again. It did a somersault. Yeah, I guess it was uh, listening pilot. to Peppy's advice. It's becoming a better pilot. Maybe next time, it'll do a barrel roll. But uh, in the meantime, assuming, you know, no more random cart shenanigans, <laughs> just keep healing and hoping for the best. They're right there, I love it. I had two health, but luckily I had that medic there. If not for the medic, I do think I would have burned to death on the health pack, as frustrating as that is. And there was somebody on our team over here fighting somebody, I don't even know. But there's gunfire from every direction at once suddenly, and that's another, you know, kind of, I don't want to pop it there moment, because it wasn't quite close enough, but I know the Heavy just went down the stairs, and I'm like, pop it the second we come out the door, but there was a hair of a delay because of that guy who was coming the other direction. He was on our team, but the uh, Pyro thought he might have been a spy. I didn't want to get sidestepped, and I'm like, no, look out! And by the grace of luck, did not have time for the sap and stab. He had time for the sap, which, of course, by itself is remedied in about a second from the wrench, so no big no big loss on that one, I was pretty pleased. Uh, heel in the heavy, Nacho Man, Fred Savage, and I once again find Werewolf Party right in the midst of uh, needing a uh, crits, or not so much needing, but being able to benefit greatly from a crits, and again, clearing everything out here in a big circle, and I think at this point they were building up in this upper area, but we had a soldier on our team rocket jump up here and just murder everything, Papa Ohe. So it didn't even matter, me and Werewolf Party's little circuit there was uh, rendered... Uh, not useless, but, you know, they, he beat us to the punch. <laughs> and there's everybody getting murdered by a spy again, and I was so afraid he was going to get an overstab on that, because I've been overstabbed when spies are in front of me, just because the angle to my shoulder is 
magic enough that it happens. And I thought for sure I had a good opportunity here to melee that heavy to death because the health is in the corner. He was strafing to the right. I'm like, oh, I'll go Thane left. I'll pick up the health. I'll come back right. Maybe I'll get a few more swings before he actually gets a good bead on me. Sometimes heavies at point blank range can't really track very well, some of them. It's uh, really useful if you're playing Scout and you have a heavy who's not super, super fast. You, uh, you have a really good chance in those uh, situations to circle straight like a, like a, bad, like a badass, <laughs> is how you feel. Because it's like, oh yeah, look at me run around that guy and murder him. So, you know, tiny openings like that, really good angle for Bloodslogger needles, but you don't want to stay there too long. If I tried to stay there for that last shot, the rocket would have hit me. It would have hit me off the wall or something. I'm telling my team there's a soldier up there. And there's the spy. Luckily, I got a few crit needles, kind of uh, took the edge off, I think, of his health restoration from the full health pack. You know, gotta love the uh, the laughing, maniacally medic. After all, the, the hurting is more rewarding than the healing. It truly is. Though the healing is, is pretty rewarding, too. I, I've said before in other games and MMOs and so forth, for that matter, that I, I'm not really concerned with uh, whether I'm on uh, the healing end of the spectrum or the shooting end of the spectrum. That was an utter fail. We just were cornered. We should have backed off and come in another direction. But I'm not concerned so much with which side of the equation I'm on so long as the end result is kicking ass. I don't mind if I'm the enabler of the ass kicking or the foot doing the ass kicking so long as the ass gets kicked. And I've got a couple more clips here. One back on high tower. Uh, in fact, I think this was from the same play session as the first clip, if memory serves. But it's just a short clip just because I like the way this round started. Just because of the uh, the heavy I knock off of the cliff. This is uh, just a great example of how I like to start this map. It's like I saw the heavy to the left and I was headed over here to try to anticipate him and yeah, there he goes. I love it. Love it. And then uh, onto uh, this clip of Medic, and we got the first point on this map so quickly, I was bored, and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go on a Ubersaw Rampage. First guy I see, and it's a sniper. That makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the Medic. I uh, amplify that little section of audio, because it's just so perfect and fitting. <laughs> so I wasn't done yet, even though I had a crits at this point. I was like, eh, I'm still going to just keep murdering people with a uber saw. But right there I thought that soldier was gonna come out after me. He didn't, but as it turned out, that demo man had like no health left. I'm like, okay, I've got a crits. I really need to give it to somebody. Hey, look, a soldier. And we got a little bit of use out of this. We killed one guy right off the bat, but I don't know if we get another kill with that exact crits. But, you know, I was going for this guy here and, oh, just a hair, a hair off. Quite close, if you ask me. And I was gonna heal the spy, because I like to show spies love, but he exploded. It's, it's hard to put the pieces back together like Humpty Dumpty, and I saw the uh, the arrow come out, and I was like, Oh, I can get him! I can get him! No, I'm trapped in the door! I can't get out of the door! So I'm trying to backpedal, and it's just, like, not happening, but I figured I would just keep shooting needles so that when somebody did open the door, I would have a chance to get a little bit of health back. And I hit the NG as he goes by, I get a crit on the demo, I jump in the hole, there's like four people in the car, and I'm like, oh, I'll taunt, we got this. No, we don't, we don't got this. I shouldn't have leaned back! As it turned out, he only had a little bit of health left, too, if I had actually been paying attention, I probably would have had a good shot to do that. The same guy, no less, too. The irony. The irony. So I've got half an Uber, or crits in this case, and so rather than push my luck against the heavy and the demo and the multitudes of uh, opposition, I headed up top to see who I could run into, and I ran into a demo who seemed to have his wits about him. I was like, I'm gonna heal this guy, and he's like, obviously trying to build the crits up, you know, shooting himself with the uh, grenade on the doorway, and all I'm worried about is getting flanked here. You see where I'm looking? I'm like, hopefully, oh god, it's a pyro! And I thought for sure I was just gonna be in the corner, getting burned the hell up, and maybe he'd blow him up in time, maybe he wouldn't. But the pyro just left. I got my charge up, he calls medic. Anytime you're healing somebody with a crits creek and they call medic, just give them the crits, because obviously they want it. That's, you know, any little impetus, just give them the crits. They've got enemies in front of them, give them the crits. They're going around a corner, give them crits. <laughs> it's uh, better to have it activated on them so if they have to fire in the next instant they have it, than to not pop it and then pop it late and then you both die. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it as always. Like it if you liked it and I will catch you next time. Peace.